Welcome back to Green is Good, and we're so excited to have with us today Kelly Jackson. She's the sales and marketing coordinator for globalgoodspartners.org. Welcome to Green is Good. Thank you. Thank you. So excited to hey, be on today and to be chatting about Global Goods Partners. Oh, this is the first time Global Goods is on the on the show, and we're so excited for you to talk about it and tell your great story. But before we get to Global Goods Partners, talk a little bit about Kelly Jackson. Talk a little bit about your journey. How did you end up here? Why are you here? And, uh, and, and share a little bit your, your journey first. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm here now, but it is definitely not the path, out, path I set on, you know, out on. I graduated from college in 2007, thinking I was going to go into the sciences field. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> after I graduated, though, I took a six-month trip to Southeast Asia and, Mm. you know, did some time volunteering and traveling, and then I just fell in love with exploring the world. So the Mm. next five years, I actually kind of did the cyclical dance of working for six months, you know, and then traveling for six months. And during that time, I really got to see the impact that, you know, income generation products projects and these marginalized communities around the globe, you know, how much of an impact they can make. And after seeing that firsthand, and I knew I really wanted to to figure out a way to give back to these communities that I had traveled in. And, it, you know, I found Global Goods Partners, who's doing exactly that, you know, providing handmade products, and the money goes back to these communities. Um, it's really a perfect fit for me. I love it, and I'm so glad you're on. And and for our listeners out there that want to follow along as we're um, d- doing this uh, little uh, fun chat with Kelly, please go to www.globalgoodspartners.org. I'm on the site now. It's a gorgeous site. Frame it a little yeah. bit. Frame it a little bit, Kelly. What does Global Goods Partners do? Explain yeah. to our listeners, please. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So we are a fair trade nonprofit organization, and at this point we work with over 30 women-led artisan groups in 20 countries to curate our online marketplace. And it's a, you know, it's a place for consumers who want to shop for gifts that give back. And I think that Global Goods is unique in that not only are our partners making gorgeous handmade products, Every one of our partners has a very strong community development aspect to their work. So it may be adult literacy courses or girls' education or healthcare initiatives. Um, so I just think it's amazing that when you shop with Global Goods Partners, not only are you providing income for women and their families, but you're also supporting these really important initiatives as well. That is so great. And so talk a little bit about some of the eco-friendly products that you carry, and um, is this the only platform you sell them on, or do you sell them also through uh, retail stores, or is this mm-hmm. the platform? Yeah, so we sell them on our e-commerce site, yep. but we also do have um, small you know, fair trade stores around the country who sell our products as well. Wonderful. Um, yeah, and our eco-friendly products are just, they do, they do great for us. Um, we're always just so blown away by the creativity that our partners have in creating these eco-friendly products. Um, what comes to mind right now is that we have a partner in Cambodia called Friends International, um, and this group employs parents of former street children to help mm. them earn income that enables their children to attend school. Mm. So, you know, these this group... Not only do they have an amazing mission, but they're also incredibly creative in developing the recycled products. We carry one product that we call the Glitter Wallet. Mm. And you'd never know by looking at it, but it's actually shredded candy wrappers. Oh my you know, gosh. the inside of a candy wrapper it has that really nice metallic sheen. Yeah. So when you shred these all up, you get gorgeous blues and orange and red and then add metallic in. So it's a, it's a really fun product. Mm. And then they're also doing... Um, products with recycled tire. We're developing a men's wristband right now with recycled motorbike tire. If you know, if anyone's been to Asia, they know that motorbikes are just everywhere. So there's lots of recycled material to be had. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, okay, for our listeners who just joined us, we've got Kelly Jackson on with us. She's the sales and marketing coordinator for globalgoodspartners.org. I'm on the site. Go Get on the site if you can. I mean, it says here 20 countries, 38 partners. So you've got partners, literally women partners all mm-hmm. around the world. So you're actually yep. like buying products. Just so I understand this simply and so our listeners can understand this and to understand how important instead of going to – um, uh, uh, you know, buy a, a stuff from a store that you've typically mm-hmm. gone to. You can buy a gift from your website. You can support one of your partners, and th- these mm-hmm. gifts are beautiful. I'm looking at these bracelets and necklaces, and and mm-hmm. and all these wonderful products. And you can help effectuate change in those communities, in in those communities that all have different types of challenges. Exactly. You know, can you talk a little bit about some of the, you know, let, frame it up a little bit, like it, with with those twenty different countries, which is so amazing that you're, you you know, the, the the broadness and the scope of this, and to have thirty eight partners. What are some, you know, talk a little bit about some of the different challenges and the, some of the, the, the journeys these women uh, that are creating these products for you are on and how you're helping them by supporting them by buying their products. Yeah. Um, well, a big, you know, challenge for our partners is that a lot of them have very limited access to yeah. resources. Yeah. You know, sourcing material just... It just they can't source good material to make high quality products. So, you know, we work with one group in northern Argentina called Pampa Brava, and this organization works with women of the in the the Wichi tribe. Hmm. And historically, these women have been discriminated against, and they live in a very impoverished area where there's really no other outlet other than craft production to generate income. Hmm. Um, so these women have taken to using, it's called the chagua fiber, um, to create jewelry. It's really the only natural resource they have available to them to make jewelry. And now, um, so this chagua fiber has no nutritional value. It's, it's just grown in the woodlands in northern Argentina. And the women for generations have been harvesting the chagua, and then they roll it and weave it into beautiful jewelry. Hmm. Wow. Um, yeah. Wow. And, 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 and what, what, how many of these different groups, so the countries that you work in and the partners that you work in, all the partners are creating different products, I take it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Very different products. okay. So the idea is, it's just like, so talk a little bit about, like, I'm looking at this earth bracelet. It's just gorgeous. Mm-hmm. The Brava bracelet. And I know mm-hmm. you have a project called Bracelets for Change. Yeah. Talk a little bit yeah. about Bracelets for Change. The Bracelets for Change has, we launched this project two years ago and yeah. it just, you know, it really took off and we're, it's basically, um, uh, basically the bracelets for change product project. Um, when you buy a bracelet for change, you're partnering with a woman in Guatemala to split the cost, cost of clean water, healthy food and a safer home for her family. Um, this project was set up. So when you purchase a bracelet, there's actually a micro grant embedded into the price. Hmm. So when you buy the bracelet, a few dollars gets put into a matching fund right. to split the cost of um, one or four one of four items for a woman and her family in Guatemala. Wow. It's wow. a very cool program. And if you go to our website, you can see that we offer the bracelets for change right. in four different colors. Well, and each color yeah. actually buys a different product. So... You know, and then also I'm on your website, and there's and even these there's a, there's a portion of your website, and again for our listeners out there, globalgoodspartners.org. Mm-hmm. People can even artisan partners can apply to be a new partner of yours. Yeah, yeah. Which is like so great. You're using mm-hmm. technology. You're you know t- t- on both sides of the equation for women around the world that want to join as an artisan partner. They can do that online. And for, of course, our listeners out there that want to support uh, this great organization, your great organization, you could go out and buy stuff out there. So here these on, 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 talk a little bit. We're talking about jewelry, but these bags, these scarves, these uh-huh. accessories, talk a little bit about some of this other stuff that you, that you have on here that uh, people can, you know, get excited about and, yeah. and help support. Well, you know, one of our, it's, 
you know, the cold air is coming, the cold weather is coming, and <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it, but it is. Um, we have a fantastic group in Bolivia that creates um, alpaca knitwear, handmade alpaca knitwear, and they're dedicated to using only natural dyes. Wow. And actually, when I came to Global Good Partners, I was just, this is one of the first products I saw, and I was blown away. Um, these vibrant natural dyes just cannot be matched, and you know, I saw photos of these big vats of natural dyes being created, and, you know, walnut leaves are used to create the brown dyes, and onion skins are used to create this gorgeous yellow dye, and carrot tops are used to create the green dye. It's just amazing. You know, these are traditional techniques. These are the way things were dyed generations ago. Mm. And part of fair trade is actually keeping these tra- traditional artisan techniques, you know, reviving them. So... It's cool. not only eco-friendly, but it's we're not losing this art form of natural dye as well. And talk a little bit about your your last year your your um, Global Goods Partners uh, Fair Tuesday uh, uh, event. Uh, the hashtag yes. Fair Tuesday. Explain hashtag what that is. Fair Tuesday. Well, you know yeah. what? For all of the ethical and eco-friendly and fair trade shoppers out there, yeah. we wanted a day. So we created Fair Tuesday as a response to Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Um, and, you <laughs> know, it, it absolutely took off, took off. We came up with this idea at a staff meeting one day, and just we went, got the URL, and then five weeks later, we had reached 3, ma- 3 million people. We had 130 partners in 13 different countries. Wow. It just It really exploded. And for me, I think it highlighted the growing shift and consumerism, you know, people want to know where their products are coming from. And in this age of mass production, feeling a connection to the artisan and community that's producing your product is just yeah. it's very appealing. It is very appealing. How many yeah. years How many years has your organization been around? Uh, we were founded in 2006. 2006. Uh-huh. And, is, and, are, and, and are sales growing month over month, year over year? How's it going? Yeah, year over year. Year over we're, year. Over the past couple years, we've actually been partnering with larger retailers. Um, last year, we did a partnership with Club Monaco. So it's just fantastic that these larger brands are coming to, you know, fair trade source like Global Goods Partners and having something produced. Again, it, it shows this changing shift in consumerism. That is just great. For our listeners out there, how, you know, what, you know, we've got about two minutes left. Share what your goal is for, for our listeners out there in terms of shopping on your site, engaging with your site, spreading mm-hmm. the word. How easy is it to shop, to just, you know, look at what you like and click and buy? Can you buy gift cards? You know, explain, yeah, the, yeah. explain how, how this works and what you really want out there so we can help continue to support a sustainable world and, and great mm-hmm. business models like yours. Well, to me, you know, I think it's, it's simple. I think... Everyone wants to help in some way, right. but that can be a very daunting task, and you just don't know where to start. Right. Um, but I think with Global Goods Partners, you can shop and do good. It's, it's very simple. Um, you can go- buy gorgeous gifts. You can, when you give these gifts, you can tell a little bit about the story and the impact that they're making. Um, and it's just a very simple way to make a difference in communities throughout Asia, Africa, and, you know, the Americas. I mean, you even have, you could sponsor, you know, like you even have a bar and bat mitzvah project. I yeah. Mean, right? Explain that really yeah. quick in the last 30 seconds. Give, give us how that works. Yeah, um, you know, we've just, we've, the, the co-founder was part of the American Jewish World Service. Right. Um, that's where she did a lot of community development work. And so we have a strong tie to the Jewish community, and we love to give back. If people want to, you know, do, off, do a fair trade um, bar bat mitzvah, um, we have woven kippo from Colombia, all handmade, and wire dreidels. Unbelievable. So, All right. Wide for, range of products. <laughs> for our listeners out there, globalgoodspartners.org. Go support them and change Thank the you world. so much. Kelly Jackson, you're a global <laughs> inspirational leader yeah. and truly living proof that green is good. Yeah.